Hey guys, we're talking lunch break biceps. For those of you guys that only get so much time on a lunch break but wanna catch that quick workout, I'm gonna show you an effective bicep workout that's gonna help get you that skin split and pump. So follow me over here into the gym. Let's get the party started. Hey guys, Coach P with Championship Muscle. We're gonna do a lunch break bicep workout. We're gonna start out with a two drop sets with barbell curls, immediately go over to preacher curls, do a set to failure, and then we're gonna go to the dumbbell rack and we're gonna do drop set standing dumbbell curls. So follow me along as I get this, get this going. I'm gonna start out with a 30 pound barbell. I'm just doing this for demonstration purposes. I'm gonna take this into the rep range of failure. That might be 30, 40, or 50 reps. You pick what failure is for you. Just make sure your form is spot on. This is not a race. You're on your lunch break, but you wanna get an effective workout. Just keep the momentum going. Concentrate on your biceps, squeezing every repetition, engaging the muscles on every repetition, okay? It's real simple, put your head in the game. Concentrate on the barbell curls. When you hit your magic number of failure, you're gonna drop this, grab the next barbell. Pick up where you left off. Concentrate on going to failure. Failure don't have a number. It's when you can't do anymore. You might be 60, 70, 80 repetitions just into this one movement this first set, but this is your most important set because this is what's gonna set the pace for the pump before you get to the preacher curls and before you get to the dumbbells, okay? So you're gonna rep this to failure. You're gonna rack this, you're gonna immediately go over to the preacher bench. Now, my preacher bench already has an easy curl bar set up, so we're gonna come over here This is the 30 pound preacher bar. You put the weight on that you're comfortable with, but remember this is reps to failure. You wanna get some high reps. Concentrate on your high reps, okay? Remember, you're on your lunch break. You wanna keep this momentum going because most lunch breaks are 45 minutes to an hour. You could do this workout 15 minutes. You could be done with biceps, imagine that. 15 minutes. So you're gonna take this into the rep range of failure. And when you hit that failure number, you're gonna stop and go to the next exercise. But remember, when you're doing this, you're not bouncing this weight. You're taking it, you're curling it, you're squeezing the bicep, and you're coming down. Everything here is controlled, okay? So we're gonna go from this preacher bench over to the dumbbell rack. We're going to do dumbbell, or, uh, dumbbell bicep curls, and we're going to drop set them. I'm only going to use 15 pounds. Remember, we just did the barbell curls, two drop sets, failure. We just did the preacher bench, one set, failure. You should have that pump getting set in that muscle. You should have some real good blood going into that muscle. So now let's grab these dumbbells. I'm gonna start with 15 pounds. And I am gonna squeeze my repetitions. Controlled. I'm not swinging them, there's no momentum. I'm squeezing the reps. I'm turning my elbows in, turning my wrists to the outside, squeezing every repetition. Once I hit that failure number, I'm gonna put these 15s down and I'm gonna grab the 10s. 10s don't sound like much, but when you are over the 100 rep range, you're gonna feel these 10s. These 10s are gonna feel like 60s. And you're just gonna squeeze every repetition, just like this. You do not have to spend 30, 40, 50 minutes in a, in a workout doing a single body part. Not when you stay focused and you keep the momentum going. You're going from exercise to exercise. 
Okay? I'm going to grab the five pounders now. You should be able to do what we just did, at least two rounds of this, and get that lunch break bicep workout in and be like, wow, that was really good, that was effective. And believe it or not, those are some of the best workouts because you're so concentrated and so focused on what you're doing, you're gonna probably have one of the better bicep workouts than you've had in a long time, okay? What I would do, depending on the amount of time you have, go do this again. Go back to the barbell curl, two drop sets, maybe three drop sets. The choice is yours. I just demonstrated two. And then you come back and you go back to the preacher bench. You rep them out to failure. Then you come back over here, grab the dumbbells, go down the rack, 15, 10, 5, or maybe you want to start at 20, 10, 5. You're the one that's got to pick the weight you can handle. But remember, this is not a game of how much weight. This is a strategy of repetitions and getting the high reps to get that skin splitting pump. All right, guys, what I just demonstrated was drop set barbell, preacher curl, dumbbell curl, lots of other bicep exercises. You don't have to do this in the order that I did, and you don't have to do the exercises I did. Utilize the form and technique that you saw me doing. Utilize the drop set high rep to failure strategy. You could start this at the dumbbells, drop set dumbbells. You could come over here to the preacher bench. You can go over to the barbell curls. It doesn't matter what order you do these exercises in. What matters is how you're doing the exercises. You need to take this into the high rep range. The first exercise that you're doing, you need to blow your load. You always hear me say that in these videos. You got to blow your load in that first exercise. You got to set the bar very high with the repetitions because that's what's going to put the blood in the muscle. If you don't do it on that first set of that first exercise, regardless of what body part or what exercise you're starting with, you're never going to be able to chase the pump and make up for what you should have done on the first exercise. You're not gonna have the gas in the tank, especially if you're cut for time. You need to get in, get a good workout in, and get back to work. Maybe grab a snack before you head back to work. So you're on a time constraint, but I guarantee you, you can get a very good pump doing this short little bicep workout. I only talked about doing two rounds. You may be able to do this three rounds. If you can, that's even better but it all depends on how much time you have on that lunch break, but yet, you know, to get your lunch break bicep workout in, okay? I wanna thank you guys for subscribing. I just released my championship muscle training courses. They're available at my Buy Me A Coffee site. There's a link in the description for it. I have put a lot of detail in these workout programs, these training courses, more so than I have put into my videos. These courses will take your training to the next level of conditioning. I put a lot of time, invested a lot of time in putting these courses together. They're very, very detailed, and I promise you, they will take you to the next level of conditioning. Click the link below in the description, and it'll bring you to the Buy Me A Coffee site, and you will see the link for it to the training course. I highly encourage you guys to you know, get these courses. It's like having me in the gym with you, more so than these videos that I put out. So with that being said, I wanna thank you for watching the videos. Please like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you guys back in the gym in 2024. Peace out.